Good morning everyone! Actually it's the afternoon here in Denmark anyway! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! I felt like filming today so I thought I didn't really have a specific subject I wanted to talk about besides from books. So I thought why not tell you what I'm currently reading and also give you some titles that I might want to read afterwards but I'm not sure yet so you might have to help me with that selection. The first book I'm reading is on my Kindle and that is Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. I have had my eyes on this series for the past week, so I decided to finally pick up the first book. It is a very light and humoristic read, which should be taken lightly, but at the same time it's a serious and very intriguing read that gives you an insight into what it's like to be a very, very rich person living in Singapore. It basically follows several families and their relationships and how they get to live and get to view the world in the society of rich people. And I'm talking crazily rich people. So it's kind of fascinating to hear about their houses and their way of thinking, their way of living. I like it, it's a fun read. I'm 60% through it now and I have been 60% through it for the past week. I'm not really picking up this book, but I might do it today. I don't know, it's something about talking about it that makes me want to read more of it. So I don't know what's happening. I have thought about DNFing it just because I'm not super intrigued to actually read it. But when I'm reading it, it is good. So I don't know, I'm a little bit confused, but that's what I'm currently reading on my Kindle. And then the physical book I'm currently reading is Roses by Leela Mitcham, which is the sequel to this book that I read last month, Somerset, and I really liked it. I thought it was pretty fun and also pretty, well, it's supposed to be taken seriously, but I didn't, and for that reason I really, really liked it. The same is the case with this one, which is based on the same characters and the same setting, which is America in the 20th century. This one in specific is about Mary and her life choices, which are so ridiculous, which was also the case with Somerset, that the choices that the characters in these books make don't seem believable to me. But once you get over that, it's just a fun read. And it's a read of generations, it's a read of development through the families, through the characters, and you really grow to like these characters so that's why I still like it and I am more than halfway through this one so if I really get my act together I might be able to finish it this weekend. So that leaves me with a choice as to what to pick up next because as I said I might be able to finish at least one of these books this weekend. So I have a bunch of books lined up that I might read. I'm not sure yet and I kind of really don't like putting up a TBR for myself because I am a very moody reader and if I don't feel like those books once it's time to pick up a new book I'm not going to pick them up. But this is a tentative TBR and maybe you can encourage me to pick up one of the books if you are rooting for it and wanting for me to pick it up. So lately I felt like it's time to read another John Steinbeck. So I have here To A God Unknown and The Pearl. Either of these books I might pick up next week. I'm not sure yet which one, but what I like about them is that they are pretty small and lately I have gravitated more towards smaller books. And I know that it's going to be an impeccable story since it is by John Steinbeck. Now this book I actually unhauled in my last reading vlog. I showed it to you and told you I was going to get rid of it. I changed my mind on this one and that is The Upstairs Room by Kate Murray Brown. I basically want to give it a chance and I thought why not give it a chance right now instead of in a year or so. So I might pick up this one. It is a very mysterious kind of novel about ghosts and spirits as far as I know. So if I'm in the mood for that kind of story next week then this might definitely be an option. Then I have some books that have been on my shelves for a very long time and that I still haven't read and actually there is a video going up about those kinds of books in the near future. Anyway, I'm standing here now with the People in the Trees by Hanya Yanagihara. It's about an expedition, it's about some kind of study in the 1950s, a young doctor, etc. I don't know if that's my kind of story, but I do know that I loved 
a little life by this author and I really want to read more by her so this is my option and I might go for this one. Last but not least I have two beautiful tall hardbacks in my hands. I have here The Lives of Others by Neil McCurdy and To the Bright Edge of the World by Ewan Ivy. Two very different novels but they have been on my shelves for many many years and I kind of feel like reading them right now, so I should take advantage of that. I'm not saying I'm going to actually pick them up, but if you've read either of these, let me know what you thought of them and which one you think I should pick up. I'm very sorry about the bad lighting. I use natural lighting and this is what you get from that, but I hope you can deal with it. This is actually the end of my video, so thank you so much for watching and have a great weekend, everyone. Until my next video, which I mentioned just earlier, happy reading.